Hello, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be really fun, um, really juicy, really spicy. It's going to be called, um, what would they do to you if they got you alone? So what would they do if they got you alone? I hope that you enjoy. If you're a returning subscriber, um, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and press that notifications bell so that you can be notified whenever I release new videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card. Hello, and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. Um, the other way that you can choose which pile is meant for you is by going to the timestamp that has the images. But if you'd like to choose with gemstones, pile number one is a clear crystal quartz. Pile number two is the blue gold stone. Pile number three is the citrine. So if you need more time, you can pause the video. But if you're all set and you know which pile you're gonna choose, let's get started then with today's pick a card all about what would they do if they got you all alone? Hello, my beautiful, lovely pile number ones. So I'm just going to start off this reading today with lighting some incense and cleansing the space and saying a prayer to spirit that spirit will be here with us. So spirit, please be here with us now as I prepare to deliver messages to pile number one all about what would they do if they got pile number one alone. Now this could be their partner or their crush. It could really be anybody on their mind. What does this person really want to do to them if they were to get them all alone? So I will be using the Tarot of Sexual Magic, my intuition, and then I channeled some messages from Spirit this morning, so I'm excited to do that. And um, some juicy stuff came out, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the Tarot of Sexual Magic, and that's a good place to start. So I'm just gonna cleanse these cards. So Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to convey to pile number one, what would the person on their mind do to them sexually if they got them all alone? What do they really wanna do? And I like to shuffle until I feel like this tingling sensation in my heart chakra and then I know it's time to stop. So, okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. So I really do feel like they would love to put on some soft lighting, light some candles and create some kind of nice ambiance and just hold each other without any clothing on. Um, just be totally vulnerable with each other. And this person wants to see you at your finest, completely nude. Um, this person is thinking about if they were to get you alone, they would love to just be intertwined with your bodies, intertwined with your legs wrapped around them, okay? They love your legs, they love your beautiful legs. They feel like you're almost somebody out of like this storybook romance. You're very, very beautiful, especially if you are a female watching this, you have beautiful hair and the way that you wear your hair, like your hairstyle, there's something about it that's very feminine and sexy and it really, it's very framing to your face. 
and it brings out your best features and it highlights your features your facial features like your beautiful eyes and things like that and if you're a male I feel like you are strong and you have such a strength about you and that's really sexy too and so um, whether you're a male or a female the person on your mind really wants to get you alone so that they can romance you okay what else spirit the person on your mind when if they were to get you alone they would want to just basically get you in a comfortable position and start maybe rubbing you with some massage oils um start with like a foot rub and then maybe like rub your legs a little bit and kind of work their way up and to just get you totally relaxed and give you like the ultimate pleasure they want to see you have pleasure okay also we got the ten of chalices here your person would love to see you in some sort of lingerie if you're a female watching this and if you're a male you've got somebody just wanting you to just walk around with your t-shirt off so they can see your beautiful body and they just i don't know like whoever this is they love your body and they want to see you showing more skin and they want to see you being comfortable with them okay all right they are thinking about like doing something with you and some kind of a swing okay like one of those um one of those like sex swings that you can try um have fun with that if you do um you know this person just wants to try new things they just want to experiment with you um they want to just make you feel happy and they don't want you to ever get bored okay they like changing things up and let's see what else okay so they are thinking about like you giving yourself pleasure um what would that be like to like kind of be a fly on the wall and watching you giving yourself pleasure is what i'm picking up and um they really want to see you in all your glory just having fun and another thing that they really really want to do they're obsessing about you they're like obsessing about you with the devil here they want to see you maybe having fun with some toys okay I'm not sure if you see what I see in his hand but I'm seeing that this person wants you to have fun with toys and they just want to watch they want to watch you having a fun time anything else spirit okay yeah so they want to try new things with you they're not afraid to try different things things you that you may have never done before new positions um, yeah they're really open people sexually very very open they don't have a lot of sexual hang-ups they may want to put on some soft music you see the violin they may want to play you some music maybe they play a musical instrument and kind of get you you know in the mood set the mood um, they are very romantic okay they are very very romantic and they're thinking a lot about just how much passion you have as a person like they love your passion they love how you exude this this passion in everything that you do all right now my next thing is that i'm going to get into the channeled message cards to dig a little bit deeper into this to see what would they want to do to you if they got you all alone so um yeah
So, Spirit, what would this person, the person on their mind, like to do to them if they were, if they were to get them all alone? Try something new, exactly. So this person on your mind just wants to try new things. Um, especially if this is a partner, they don't want you ever getting bored, okay? They just want to hold you. They want you guys to hold each other. Like I said in the very beginning, I was really picking up on that. They just want to, you know, be in the nude with you, holding each other, very intertwined together, very vulnerable together. And this would make them very happy. What else, spirit? They want to give you sensual touches like all over your whole body. Okay, they just want to hold you, give you sensual touches, make you feel like you're in heaven. Kind of drive you wild to the point of like where you want to scream with pleasure. They want to work you up to a crescendo. They want to take their time with you. That's what I'm sensing too. I was sensing that like they want to see you having pleasure. That's what I was picking up on earlier too in the reading. It's like they just love to see the look on your face. If this is a partner, they love to see the look on your face when you're in your ultimate pleasure. But like if this is somebody who's a crush, they just want to see you having fun. They just want to know what it would be like to see your face in that kind of ultimate pleasure and what you'd look like. It would sear an image in their mind that they would probably like keep thinking about over and over again because like they, they would love that. But if you have a partner, your partner loves that about you. Okay, what else, spirit? Um, soft caresses. So they do want to caress you very softly, gently. Um, they might want to get it pitch dark because, and just light a couple of candles, you know what I mean? Just to kind of make it look like, be very romantic and like really good lighting to set the mood. So like pitch dark with like just a couple candles or something. <laughs> this one makes me laugh. They might want to actually push you up against the wall and have fun with you that way because it's like they've got so much passion for you that, yeah. And where is that card? There was a card that kind of reminded me of that too that you had right here. Yeah, this one. The passion that you exude and that this person has for you, the ultimate chemistry that you guys have and share, they just want to push you up against the wall and like have their way with you. Like, I'm not kidding. It's very, it's like that scene from The Notebook. I'm seeing that scene from The Notebook where they're all wet from the rain and they have, they like, they're running towards each other and all of a sudden they embrace and then they go inside the house and like basically are ravenous for each other. That's the kind of passion that I'm sensing from your person towards you. It's very palpable, okay? What else, spirit? All right, we got kiss a girl. They may have a fantasy about you kissing another girl. Like if you're a female, they may have a fantasy about you kissing another girl. Okay, now, is this something that they would ask you to do? Maybe, maybe not, but they definitely think about it from time to time. Like what it would be like to like have you, it's not like, a particular girl that they would have in mind it was just like the idea of you kissing another female or something you know what I mean um, which if you were to ask um, people I think that there's a lot of popularity around that like you know girls kissing each other and stuff so I feel like it's kind of a popular fantasy so I do think your person sometimes thinks about that, like, hmm, what would it be like? <laughs> the other thing this could be is you could be a girl watching this thinking about kissing another girl, okay? So that's, this could be like a same-sex attraction. 
So that's what that one means. What else, spirit? Food play. Your person might be thinking about like, what would they do to you in the bedroom if they could feed you strawberries, chocolate. Um, I even heard like honey, all kinds of aphrodisiacs. Um, seafood. There's like seafood, certain seafoods that are aphrodisiacs, but like they want to experiment with this. What else? Your partner, your person is thinking about like, what would it be like to role play with you? If they got you alone, they would definitely love to like role play with you. Um, just kind of have fun with it, you know, because they're so open minded. And <laughs> talk dirty to me. They may want to have you talk dirty to them because it would really turn them on. And uh, for some of you, there may be an age gap or they may be like, yeah, just call me daddy or something like that. Okay. That could be for some of you. All right. Anything else, spirit? They may want to like fight and then make up and then have makeup sex. <laughs> like it's very passionate, the passion that you guys have together. It's crazy. All right, they're thinking about like what it would be like to basically do you in a chair or any other piece of furniture around the house, like just all kinds of furniture play. play. Um, they may be thinking about like reverse cowgirl, like you on top or something like that. Like what would that be like? Like how much fun would that be? They want to like rub you with oils all over your body and get you really, really relaxed. I think I said that at the beginning. Yeah, and they want to romance you. So like this has come, this reading has come full circle from right where I started with in the beginning about how they want to, you know, set the tone with you. They want to rub you down with oils and massage you, like give you a deep tissue massage work their way up they could want to give you like a foot massage like i said and kind of slowly work their way up and just give you ultimate pleasure okay that is what your person wants to do to you if they were to get you alone i hope that you've enjoyed this and if you did please be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you can be notified whenever i release a new video and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching and thank you for being part of my YouTube family. I love you all so much. And if you would like a further personal reading, you can look in my description box for more information about how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And this is never expected, but always appreciated. If you would like to leave um, a, a tip or a donation um, you can definitely look in my description box for that and um, I would very much appreciate that but like I said that's not expected but always appreciated and um, yeah if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up if you leave me a comment it's gonna be great feedback for me let me know what you think of this video okay I always love hearing your feedback and I always try to respond to those too. All right. Stay beautiful, pile number one. I love y'all. Hello, my beautiful pile number two. So if you chose this blue gold stone, nice and shimmery, I love that. It's so pretty. Or if you chose image number two, then you're in the right place and today's reading is going to be all about what would they do to you if they got you all alone and it's going to be um basically it'll be the person on your mind whoever you're thinking about or your crush it could be your partner so i'm so excited to look into this we're going to be using the tarot of sexual magic cards um, we're going to be using some channeled message cards that I just channeled this morning. 
So I'm super excited about that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna cleanse the cards. Spirit, please be here now with me as I deliver messages to pile number two all about the person on their mind and what would this person do to them if they got them all along? What would they want to do to them? I always shuffle until like I get this tingly sensation in my solar plexus heart chakra area and then I know it's time to stop. Oh my goodness, this is starting out rather juicy. <laughs> okay, your person could very well be in a relationship with somebody else or you could be in a relationship with somebody else and they still are crushing on you and obsessing about you in a sexual way. So this could be about a jealous partner who's like, mm -mm, you know, not having it. You see how he's coming up behind them with an axe? So yeah, you're making people jealous with this connection. So this for this pile, pile number two, um, you could very well have somebody who is married or is in a relationship that is crushing on you, okay? But what do they want to do to you? They want to literally like pick you up and have their way with you, okay? They want to treat you like you're weightless, all right? And just kind of maneuver your your body uh, however they see fit, however they, you know, feel like it would give you the most pleasure and them. And they kind of don't care that, you know, if you have somebody or if they have somebody, like, in a way, they kind of don't care because it's not going to get in the way of their thoughts. Even if, you know, they're not going to act on this, they may not gonna they may not ever act on this, but this is what they're thinking of. If they ever got you alone, this is what they would love to do to you. So yeah, this is very interesting. Wow. They're this they they could be thinking about it so much that they're hoping to manifest it in a way. But this person definitely um is thinking about like making it happen with you, like doing this, going all the way. Like, I just heard no more teasing. All about, it's all about pleasing. They want to pleasure you. And I just heard, like, they might be tired of waiting or they don't want to wait. They're trying to fight, like, the urge to come toward you. So that's what I'm hearing. But, like, yeah, if they got you alone, they would totally just want to be with you, hold you tight. We've got this card here. They... They're hoping that you're, like, feeling the same way, like it's mutual. I really do feel like they're hoping that it's mutual. So they're hoping that if they were to ever get you alone, that you would want the same things as them. And they're having a lot of sexual thoughts about you, like you wearing nothing but, like, high heel shoes if you're a female. Um, like being completely stripped down but wearing nothing but high heels okay um yeah <laughs> they find you to be if you're a female watching this very beautiful very feminine and um they want to just treat you like a feminine beauty um, like a beauty queen. I don't know. I'm just getting like they adore you. They worship your body. They think you have a beautiful face. Like almost like magical like a fairy or something like that. Like it leaves them sort of feeling like breathless. Okay. Because I just heard breathless. They gasp at your beauty. They're just like, oh, wow. She's so beautiful. If you're a female watching this. Okay. If you're a male watching this, you have quite the physique. You may not be like ripped, completely ripped, but you've got quite the physique, okay? And you appear very strong, like very, very strong. What else, spirit? This person wants to surprise you. They want to totally surprise you. Oh my gosh. They want to come up behind you when you don't expect it. 
and they they want to totally just like put a move on you and have you be like shocked in a way and be like oh, what <laughs> oh my gosh I love it yeah they totally want to come up to you when you don't expect to see how he's like sneaking up to her he's like trying to approach her and he's sneaking up to her and she's like sleeping yeah, this person totally wants to come up to you when you least expect it and put a move on you. But they're like, I don't know. <laughs> they're thinking about it for sure. If they got you alone, yeah, they would just love to treat you like, you know, the princess that you are, the queen that you are. Especially if you're a female watching this or if you're a male watching this, just like honor you, respect you, worship your body, and they love your body. Like, this person on your mind thinks you have a really hot body, and they feel like, you know, you're comfortable with it. They know that you're confident with your body, and they think that's so, so attractive and so sexy about you. Yeah, we've got this card here. Like, this person wants you to treat them right. They want you to, like, worship their body and kind of be, like, submissive to them. That's what they kind of... They kind of want to, like... They're not a control freak, but in the bedroom, they're wishing they could get you alone and kind of tell you what to do in a way, like, sexually. Yeah, they kind of want to... They want you to, like, be submissive in a way in the bedroom and sort of, like, do whatever they ask you to do in a nice way okay they're not a control freak like i said but like do you see how that person's watching them through the window yeah this person could be married or be with somebody else okay or it could be you i'm really picking up third party here okay there's a couple different cards that indicate that too yeah this is the card for that too um do you see how there's four people here in this card there's four people involved here so like this person i gotta cover that up because of youtube um youtube rules but anyways they literally like what i'm picking up on is this person could literally have like somebody else but they're still thinking about you all right, so what would they want to do to you if they got you alone? Let's ask Spirit through the channeled message cards. All right, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Sixty-nine. They want to spoil you, Brian. They want to take their time with you. They want to pleasure you. But they want you to give them pleasure too. And at the same time, yeah, they want to spoil you rotten. <laughs> it's funny, I just said that and it came out. What else, spirit? Multiple pleasure experiences. So they basically want to see you having a fun time and they want to be having a fun time at the same time. Um, they could want to um, like reach reach the point of climax at the same time as you like kind of like simultaneously and just they wonder like how awesome would that be you know what i mean i don't know i know they're thinking about this what else are they thinking about they may not know you very well if this is a crush so um they may be like hmm you know, that could be fun. Cause so this could literally be somebody who has a crush on you, but you guys don't know each other very well. So it's almost like, it would almost be like having sex with a stranger in a way. So, and I do feel like they want to get to know you, but like, I'm getting more of like a sexual vibe here instead of like relationships. So I don't know if this person would necessarily want to have a relationship if this is just a crush because i feel like i don't know they just want to keep it on a purely like sexual basis okay yeah mutual self-pleasuring exactly that's what i was just talking about um they might be like into taboo thoughts so like yeah things they shouldn't be maybe necessarily wanting to do um, like, you know, like 
like having fun outdoors where people might be able to see or something like that like taboo meaning that things that are kind of like mm, not standard I guess like yeah just things that turn them on that they're thinking about what else spirit mouth play with mints so they could be this could be one of their like kinks or something they love to do it's like you know doing a little bit of mouth play with mints in their mouth cuddling they do want to cuddle with you they feel like see how they're embracing each other and hugging each other they really do want to hug you but they want to do a lot more too what else spirit Yeah, they want to take you unexpectedly. That's exactly what I was getting from the cards. Okay, they want to, like this guy, how he's sneaking up on her. And they want to take you, kind of unexpectedly, like take you by surprise and like, almost like sneak up on you and be like, hey. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I feel like they're they're thinking about it, but. They hesitate a lot on it, but they're definitely thinking like, dang, if I could get them alone, I would just totally surprise them and put a move on them. Yeah, this person gets kinky. They love kinky sex. Like, they they just love that. It it gets them going. They're, they don't like just one position, like missionary or whatever. They don't just like one thing. They're very, very open-minded. Okay. They want to do this standing up, so they want to, like, take you, take your clothes off when you're standing up and just, like, you know, experiment with that. Maybe up against a wall, standing up or something like that. But, like, they don't like the normal. They like normal, but not too much, like, it doesn't get them going that much. So they want to do, like, you know, things other than just, like, missionary position. They want to do other things to you. They want to get you in various different positions and stuff okay breathless yeah you leave them breathless that's what i was talking about earlier like your beauty especially if you're a female watching this your beauty leaves them breathless but if you're a male watching this your your physique and your aura and your looks really leaves this, this person breathless okay they may want to wine and dine you worship your body pick you up off the ground yeah exactly so like that's what i was th saying earlier like they just want that like with this card see how she almost looks like weightless he's got her lifted up like in the air <laughs> okay that's what they want to do to you kind of pick you up off the ground and do whatever <laughs> okay what else okay mommy so like if you're older you may have like a younger guy that has a crush on you if you're an older female and they may like kind of like the idea of an age gap you know or it could even be the other way around like this could be like an older older male or something and it's like a daddy kind of you know what i mean like Maybe that's part of the taboo thoughts, okay? But they're just kinky. They like, they're very exploratory with their sex, okay? They're very exploratory. Um, they're not like bad people or anything. They're just very, very, very open. They wanna, they wanna know what it would be like to use toys on you, so they're thinking, if they got you alone, they would love to use different types of toys on you to see what your reaction would be. They do, they want to make a move, they want to put a sexual advance move on you, but it, I feel like for some of them, they're like, I don't know if I should, but they're definitely thinking about making a move toward you in a sexual way. This person is kinky. They like bondage and discipline. Um, they do want to see you be like submissive to them. 
and like I was saying, and they they would like to tie you up with like rope or something. They don't want to hurt you, but they just want to like do this for fun, okay? Because it turns them on. What else, spirit? They want to come forward towards you with vigorous and f vigorous, um, like veracity and full of passion. Okay. They want to come towards you with so much passion and yeah, they want to have like simultaneous pleasure with you. Exactly. They want to have simultaneous pleasure with you at the same time. They're thinking about undressing you what would that be like okay this person could be a little bit bi curious all right or this could even be you you know your energy but somebody here might be you know either them or you might be a little bit bi curious just kind of thinking about what it would be like okay Yeah, this person, I'm getting, they're very, very open. Um, they're thinking about, like, tongue play and what they would basically love to do to you with your tongue. And you may even have, like, some kind of cute little tongue piercing or something that drives this person, like, wild. <laughs> or they could have a tongue piercing or, like, a lip, a lip piercing or something. Some kind of very sexy piercing. And they're thinking about, like, how how sexy you would be if they could get you alone <laughs> so anyways i hope you really enjoyed this if you did please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here i love you all so much thank you for your continued support of my channel if you would like a further personal reading you can look up um, how to obtain a personal reading from me by looking in my description box below and if you would please like, comment, and share this video. Um, liking and commenting are great because it gives me great feedback. And it lets me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, and so do be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave me a nice comment, please. I will always try to respond to those. And um, donations are never ever expected, but always appreciated. And I, I just wanted to say again, thanks again so much for watching this. And I hope that you enjoyed. All right. Stay beautiful, pile number two. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. So if you chose the citrine stars and image number three you're in the right place and i'm so excited today to find out what the person on your mind or maybe your crush or your partner would love to do to you if they were to get you alone and we're going to be using the tarot of sexual magic and some channeled message cards that i channeled this morning from spirit i'm so excited so um, i'm going to cleanse the cards and i'm going to say a little prayer to spirit Spirit, please be here now with me as I prepare to deliver messages to pile number three, all about the person on their mind and what would they want to do to pile number three if they were to get them alone. All right, so I always shuffle the cards until I feel like this tingly sensation in my solar plexus, heart chakra area, and then I know that it's time to stop. All right, so this person, they kind of just, they, they would love to just wake up with you in the morning. That's what I'm really sensing. Like this person wants to spend the night with you, wake up naked together the next day um, in each other's arms. This person also wants to be very romantic with you. Um, they want to give you flowers. They want to make you feel special. And in return, this person would love to have you make them feel very special too. Um, yeah, so this person, now I see somebody looking on. So 
I don't know if this person has a partner, if this is one of your, if this is a crush of yours. I don't know if they currently have a partner or if you have a partner. There was a similar situation like that in pile two. So if you were drawn to pile two, you might want to check out pile two. Um, but yeah, this could just mean though that like other people are watching. And if, you, if this is a crush, you could have, um, this could be like, you know, friends of yours that would be super jealous if you guys were to actually connect or hook up or people that are definitely just keeping an eye on you in this connection, okay? All right, what else, spirit? All right, this person is thinking about like mounting you, being on top of you, just like making you completely breathless, just like getting you so turned on and hot and heavy. They may even think be thinking about like having sex with you outside. And you know, if the weather was nicer, depending on where you live, like they may be thinking about yeah doing this outdoors but like i feel like for some of them too like they're thinking about what it would be like to like get you pregnant if you're female because you would make some of the cutest babies that is what i'm picking up on just kind of intuitively all right what else spirit what else would this person want to do if they got pile number three alone they definitely would try some new things with you, some things that you've probably never done before, or at least they might think you've never done before. Like they totally want to rock your world in a new and exciting way. Um, they want to do food play with you in the bedroom, like give you some, like a little bit of alcohol, maybe to make you lower your inhibitions a bit, feed you some grapes or feed you some strawberries, chocolate, um, all these different aphrodisiacs to just set the mood and the tone and I'm seeing like rose petals all over the bed like this person would go all out for you that's what they want to do to you they want to go all out and set the stage for romance oh my goodness I can't make this up if this is a male that you're crushing on he wants to have like babies with you and he's thinking about getting you pregnant he's thinking about what your babies would look like and how adorable they would be because we got this card here i can't believe that like okay that's what spirit was telling me but i was like in a way i couldn't believe it but i think that's so cool you are very attractive in fact you're this person your crush or your partner is too and they really they want to have babies with you or at least one they're thinking about what it would be like to get you pregnant um they just think you have such a warm personality there's more indications of like food play with all this basket of food here and just getting you naked and being together making out with you they love your lips they're thinking about kissing you they, they're thinking about like if they were alone with you just like literally making out the whole time you guys are doing it <laughs> extreme eye contact like physical touch um it's almost like a storybook romance type of feel okay what they want to do to you and they love your booty they want to do booty play with you they love your booty anything related to your booty they're up for it okay they are up for it they love your booty And, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to, I got to cover up her booty. <laughs> YouTube rules. But yeah, this person, there's more, there's more with food on it. More with food. There's like a bunch of food and fruits and stuff like that, like all over her body. So I feel like they are, they are thinking like drizzling, um, chocolate syrup on your body or honey or something like that, like this person is seriously thinking about a whole bunch of different aphrodisiacs and how much that would add to the eroticism okay and um wow this person wants to handcuff you for sure they want to gen do gentle bondage with you um they do want to kind of get you drunk i'm seeing i'm hearing tipsy 
and there's a glass here that's kind of there's like a wine glass that he's got tipped over with his foot so yeah I do feel like this person wants to lower your inhibitions to the point where they can handcuff you and have their way with you in a gentle way they want to be your like knight in shining armor if this is a male energy um they love your body they think you're kind of like a i want to say like a almost like a tough girl in a way if you're a girl they think you're very strong and they love your hair you could have long hair um i'm just looking here at this card you have incredible breasts incredible breasts but they think you have wonderful like posture it turns them on and here he's like offering her a piece of fruit. I really do feel like this person wants to include some kind of food play into the bedroom. This person loves your mouth. Like when the, the thought of you like eating a strawberry makes them, like drives them wild and they love anything having to do with your mouth or your lips. Like you see how he's got his fingers in her mouth? He loves her mouth and I mean, you see what her hands are doing, right? Like he, this person, if this is a male that you're crushing on or in a relationship with, they love, he loves your lips, okay? <laughs> and he wants your lips on his body. Okay, now what I'm going to do is kind of switch gears and go into the channeled message cards. I love these readings because they're so much fun. I hope you're enjoying this too. If you're liking this, can you please uh, give me a thumbs up and be sure to leave me a comment too. I, I always appreciate reading those because it gives me such good feedback and lets me know if you guys like this, this type of video. All right, so Spirit, um, what, what would this person want to do to pile number three if they were to get them alone? Yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Mile High Club. This person, if you guys like want to travel together or something, this person would definitely love to um, make love to you in unusual places, okay? Um, you might have a sexy piercing. And they kind of want to play, they like it when you play kind of hard to get, this person. Yes, I just literally said this. They want to have sex with you in unusual places. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. That's what I just said. They want to lick you like a lollipop, okay? They love your body. They love your mouth. They love your lips. You could have a sexy piercing in your on your tongue or your lips or even a cute little nose ring that they find incredibly sexy water play so they may want to get in the shower with you hot tub bathtub but this person is fantasizing about what would it be like to get you in the water and have fun with you <laughs> okay they love a little bit of light spanking they want to hit all your erogenous zones with their mouth and just like get you so turned on to the point where you can't handle it to the point where you're like no stop but you really don't mean for them to stop you just can't it's like you can't take it they want to get you to that point where you can't take it anymore and it's so pleasurable you know what i mean all right they could want to like give you feather ticklers <laughs> feather like use a feather okay kind of like this kind of feather on your skin and like tickle you a little bit they could want to do that we got mind control maybe they're kind of into like you know maybe they'll be on top and kind of be sub or like in in charge and then they'll want you to be submissive and then they'll want to like take turns and have like they're going to be more submissive and then have you be more in control you know what i mean so that could be okay now this could just be a fantasy but they could be thinking about public sex and that that makes total sex um sex <laughs> 
I have sex on the brain. Um, anyway, um, no, what I was going to say is that that does not surprise me that they're thinking about public sex with you because of, we got mile high club and sex in unusual places. So yeah, it's like, duh for me. Um, cause I was at first when I drew that, I was like, what? But it makes total sense because we've got these other two here. So yeah, this person is thinking about what would it be like to have sex with you in a public place, like in an airplane or an automobile outside or somewhere else like maybe outside okay they're thinking about a quickie and a skirt so like you wearing a skirt if you're a female and them just coming up behind you and lifting it up and having their way with you that's what they're fantasizing about blindfolds they may want to like have you completely blindfolded so that you don't see necessarily what's going on and what they're doing to you but you can feel it and it might like I'm hearing intensify all of the feelings that you're having so it could be super sexy they want to have sex with you with co on constant eye contact so like they want to see you looking at them they want your eye contact okay they might want to like watch a sexy movie with you if they were to get you alone and set the mood like some kind of either a romance movie or something like that that kind of gets you in the mood. Oh my god. <laughs> Exhibitionism. They do. They want to like do you outside. I'm not kidding. Like where people, some people could see or where you could get caught or something like that. Okay, they may not act on it, but that's what they're thinking about. Like that's one of their fantasies. Okay, I'm sorry. Like to me though I just didn't expect all those cards to come out all right what else spirit sometimes spirit surprises me and I'm just like wow tie someone up they may want you to tie them up or they may want to tie you up oh my gosh this person wants they might be thinking about group sex they're kind of what this person is, is they're very exploratory and they have a lot of fantasies. I don't think they would ever act on it, but they could be thinking about like group sex, like, you know what I mean? They could be just thinking about it, like, hmm, could be a fantasy and like you're involved in this. It might not even be like specific people. It might just be you and them and then like other people around because they are kind of like, they kind of have like this exhibitionist fantasy. I'm just saying. That's what the cards are saying. Secret sex. They could just want to do this secretly. Like, yeah, foreplay. Um, that one came flying out. They want to please you. But, like, secret sex. They could just want to do this in a, like, kind of secretly. Or maybe, like, one of you has a partner. Okay? They could have a partner. Or you could have a partner. And so, if you guys got together, it would be a secret. And you might have to hook up in like unusual places like in a car or something like that like yeah that's what i'm hearing control or teasing they want to like control your uh pleasure like they want to work you up and then stop you and then work you up and kind of like tease you okay they want to tease you and then please you You have an exotic look that they absolutely love and adore. Um, they want to watch you having ultimate pleasure. And the, this connection would definitely make somebody else jealous. Some other people jealous if people knew that, like if you guys were to get together, or if this is you and your partner, people are jealous of you. They want to please you over and over again and again. They may want to like, they're thinking about like, if they got you alone, they might want you to read some erotica or something and get you in the mood <laughs> or like something, read something sexy. Yeah. What else? They might want to see you like wearing a thong because you have a nice booty. They want you to like surrender to them, wear some sexy lingerie if you're a female. Just kind of slowly make love to you. 
and this last one they may want to have sex with you in an altered state like being either tipsy or um under the influence of something okay so that's what they're thinking interesting so I hope that you enjoyed this pile number three. If you did, definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. All my returning subscribers, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. You guys mean a lot to me and I appreciate you. If you'd like a further reading, um, you can definitely check out my description box below for more information on how to obtain a personal reading from me. And um, if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find the information in my description box below as well for that. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I always say that because I love to grow my channel. Um, tarot is what I love to do. And um, growing my channel means a lot to me. So anyways... Stay beautiful, pile number three. I love you all. Bye.